Oh, no. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, welcome back. Droid Life Show, episode 43 tonight. I'm your host, Kellen. With me, whole crew tonight. We're back. Tim, Ron, Eric, say hi real quick. Hey, guys. How's it going? Tim here. Hi, this is Ron from Droid Life. <laughs> hey, uh, Eric's oh. back. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back, everyone. Hopefully you had an amazing, long holiday weekend. It was really long, by the way. Not that that's a bad thing, but the Thanksgiving weekend just seems to go and go and go. It's kind of, it's kind of nice. But, uh... I thought it was great. Yeah. I like yeah. it. <laughs> I could take it. Would do it, yeah. yeah. Hopefully you guys did some shopping or something, maybe, or hopefully you didn't and you avoided all that crazy wildness that happens on Thanksgiving. I'm one of those people that avoids that, by the way. Yeah, I, don't know I am too. Do. I don't yeah. take a step near retail. Yes. Yeah, I'm kind, of, I'm kind of glad that they do the uh, online deals more and more, like outside of even Cyber Monday. But uh, anyways, welcome back. So last week, Tim and I did just a quick show to sort of kick off the weekend or lead you into the weekend or whatever. Uh, we're back now with, you know, we've got some topics. It's kind of been a short week, uh, but we want to talk, you know, this whole Moto X fiasco really quickly just to make sure you guys are all up to date on what's going on there, how you can get the promo codes to get a cheap Moto X. Uh, we wanted. I just kind of wanted to run around the uh, whole panel here and decide Moto X or Nexus 5. We sort of asked the site, but I kind of want to get all of your guys' opinion on that. Uh, we have a Moto G in-house, if anyone cares about the Moto G. Ooh. There's Gal- Galaxy S5 rumors floating around. We've got new distribution numbers with KitKat making its debut. I kind of personally want to talk about Prime Air and just see what you guys think about Amazon's drone delivery service. You know, we got apps and games. We'll sort of uh, run through some stuff, so... Let's start first with this whole Moto X thing. So, last well, I think it was last week, anyways, they announced that on Cyber Monday they were going to do $150 off the full retail price of Moto X, Moto Maker included, and the developer editions, both GSM and Verizon deal. So everyone immediately said best deal of the year. Let's do that. And uh, Motorola picked what was it like 6 a.m. Pacific or something like that on Monday it was supposed to go down. So we head over there. I got up early. I'm there at like 5.50-ish and just open up Motorola's site, and it's already crashed. We're talking 10, and it could have been way before that. So it could have been 20 minutes before the deal even kicked off crash. Moto Maker, I, I mean, you guys kind of know what happened. The whole site was down all day. Motorola never did get it back up. Um, they did sell through all their developer editions, though. That did happen. Uh, but Moto Maker, no go. So they apologized. CEO Dennis Woodside... And then they announced two new days. So today was one of them. Within 10 minutes, they whipped through all of their promo codes. And uh, that's kind of where we're at today. So I just want to make sure you guys are all up to date on all that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, pretty crazy, right? <laughs> like, Moto X, 350 off contract. Pretty sweet deal. I would have yeah. picked one up myself had there have been wood backs. Um, I shan't give Motorola any money until the wood backs are released. <laughs> Is that the proper usage for that, Ron? I know we've been kind of going back and forth on proper usage of words well, here. Only, only if you're being subjective about it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's yeah. very objective. Got yeah. it, sucked. <laughs> oh, I, I, I loved that picture too. No, I, I went I went back and re-listened to that, and I was like, oh, how embarrassing! That but, was pretty like, embarrassing oh, for everybody. Yeah. It was. I, that's what I did, Eric. I was like, that. <laughs> <laughs> My mom watches this show, man. Jeez. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, does she really uh, watch the show? Though? No, she doesn't. Uh, okay, good. That's good to say. <laughs> she ain't got time for that. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, anyways, that happened, right? Motorola, Moto X thing. They did a deal today. They went through a bunch of promo codes. They sent those out. They were gone in like 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes. They're doing it again on Monday. So, we actually grabbed three promo codes. We're going to try to give those away. So, if you didn't get in on that, we'll give those away. Um, We also picked up two developer editions yesterday. We're going to hand those out as well sometime once they arrive. They should be here tomorrow, actually. So if you're... Yeah, so if you're listening, we'll uh, we'll be giving away some stuff over the next few days to lead up to uh, Christmas and all that stuff. So, uh, Anything else to say about the Moto X giant mess? People were so They lasted mad. longer than Google I.O., though. So let's give them that. Yes, they did. Yeah, besides that, I think Motorola actually did a pretty good job of kind of damage control for the yeah, whole thing. Did. I mean, they, they tried to be very open with what the deal was. And then, you know, they had Dennis Woodside come and say, we're sorry, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make up for it, make like double the devices available for it. I thought, I thought they made up for it just fine. 
Free so phones for everyone. And it, like the internet has a way of overreacting to everything. It could be anything. They just completely overreact and they're just <laughs> mean people. <laughs> but <think> um, <laughs> but yeah. So once Motorola was like, okay, we're sorry. Here's a, and they're like, oh, no harm, no foul, Motorola. Like, come on, you guys. I th- I think the problem was that it started at 6 a.m. and Motorola didn't really announce or make any sort of um statement or anything for like 12 hours. So some people were actually sitting there and the Twitter account kept going, we're working on it, we'll be up soon. And then it was like 12 hours later and they well, still they weren't. Were and, they, were I know, they were trying. They were yeah. trying. Yeah. And they can only do so much. The guy managing their Twitter can probably only do so much. Like, right. you know, he, he, yeah, I'm sure he doesn't really know what's really going on. Right. And everything <laughs> went fine today. It wasn't, it wasn't Comcast bad. They got it working. They did. Exactly. Well, how dare you talk ill on Comcast. They are amazing. <laughs> they're a great company. I love their they're customer service. No one. Whenever I'm late on my bill, they they immediately call me. They let me know, hey, you owe this much. You better pay it or we're shutting you down. I say, <laughs> that's, oh. that's very sweet of them. <laughs> yeah. Better pay it or we're taking you off. <laughs> yeah, they're so nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, wow, that just got on the Comcast. <laughs> yeah, so that's happening. Again, Monday it's happening again, but we'll uh, try to give some stuff away before then in case you didn't get in. So I do want to talk really quick. Just go through um, Moto X or Nexus 5. Like, I think I kind of know where you guys are all going to lean here. Eric, I think we definitely know for sure where you're at. I think Ron, I know where you're going to. But we, we talked at – Tim, I don't know if we talked about this last week or not, but it's kind of one of those – like, at 350 bucks for Moto X or 350 for a Nexus 5 – there's some trade-offs there. I wrote up a little post about some of my thoughts on it, but uh, I just want to go around and see what you guys... If we, I guess what you, what you would choose, probably why, all that good stuff. Tim, do you want to start there? On Moto 5? Or, I mean, <laughs> Nexus 5 versus Moto X? <laughs> I think, I think yeah. you've said everything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to me, whenever, any, whenever anyone asks me that question, um, I have to think about it for a second, kind of like I'm doing right now, because... Like you said, there are certain trade-offs. Some are good, some are bad. I mean, my main things when I'm looking at a phone is I want good battery life, make sure it has LTE, both of those ones have that, uh, and camera experience. Um, since both devices are running KitKat, I know that you know performance-wise, both are you know pretty, pretty even. Um, Nexus 5 probably a little speedier, but nevertheless, um, uh, if, I, if I had to choose, I'd go Moto X just because I know that I will at least get a full day of use out of the battery. And the Nexus 5, I can't really rely on it for a full day. It can definitely get me through like a solid three quarters of a day. No problem. But you always have to like kind of hook it up by, you know, by nighttime. Like I'm getting pretty low right now. I should probably charge it. But so yeah, I'd have to go Moto X. I just love that phone so much. That's my favorite Android phone. Touchless control. Or uh, touchless, yeah, 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 yeah. Active display yeah. and touchless control. Those two features are killer for me, and you I love the them. Right? Do you want that Moto money? Yes. Yeah, and the Moto money. Thank you. I completely <laughs> forgot about it. Gotta keep uh, that. Exactly. See, it's been too long since we've done this. <laughs> so, regardless, for me, and I can customize the Moto X to my liking. Not have to stick to either Stealthy Black or Stormtrooper White or anything like that, or Panda. Excuse me. So my vote is for Moto X all day, every day. All day, every day. Yeah, what, about, I, what about you, Ron? Moto X. It's available on every single carrier. Uh, it's got features that the Nexus 5 doesn't. It's already got KitKat on every carrier except for Sprint, and if you're on Sprint, you should change carriers anyway. So <laughs> get the Moto X. <laughs> Eric, um, Eric, what do you have to say about that? I mean... When I've talked about it in the past, it's I've, I've been on the Moto X because that's what realistically I can have right now because the Nexus 5 isn't on Verizon. and I'm not in a position to switch right now. But I, if money was no object, I, it would be really, really close for me. Like, I... Man. I don't know. It'd be really tough for me to decide because I know... I mean, I've, I've had the Moto X. I love it, but... I still like to tinker every now and then with my phone, and even if it's not like, you know, flashing a whole new ROM, you know, I still like to, you know, something that's based on stock but has been modified a little bit to run a little bit better, you know, I kind of like flashing those and just kind of updating every couple months, but I don't know. It's tough. If money was no object and you had to make me decide, I would probably go... 
Nexus Five. Probably. Wow, interesting. Mm. That's surprising a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Money is no object. You're yeah. off the show. I mean, realistically, I've, I've got the Moe object. X, and I'm going to be with it for yeah. a long time. So. Well, you said you you said you want something that runs close to stock Android, but augmented to work better. That's the Moto X. Yeah, and that's that's what I'm saying. You know, I what? It's not what you're saying. You said you picked no, the Nexus really Five. Toys. You're a traitor. <laughs> So Tim and I met just for a quick beer last night, and he goes, oh, so you got the Nexus 5, because that's still what I'm using. Like, we're both using the Nexus 5, even though I think we both would lean towards Moto X. Uh, I think the thing for me is, whenever I pick up the Nexus 5, the screen's really nice. And then if you switch back to the Moto X, it is somewhat of a downgrade. So if you have both of them sitting right next to each other, those trade-offs that you kind of talked about, Tim, are like super apparent. You can just kind of go, well, do I want a really beautiful screen or do I want maybe a better overall package? Uh, but then when you talk about active display, I think that feature alone makes you kind of go back. Because if I pick up the Moto X for a couple days, notifications are there. You know, I pull it out of my pocket. It tells me what the hell's going on. Even if you pick it up off the desk, you know, the clock comes on, things like that. And if you so if you use that for a day or two and then you go grab the Nexus 5 and you pull it out of your pocket, it's not showing you anything, and then you realize you have to hit the lock Listen switch. To phone. I know. And so and I know that sounds really stupid, but just having to reach over and press a button is enough of an inconvenience when you come <laughs> from the Moto X that I think I would still probably lean that way. But there's not really much wrong with the Nexus 5 other than the camera in its current state is absolutely terrible experience. You're on Verizon, oh, right, Ron? Yeah. All right, Kellen, we gotta we gotta ship Ron a Moto X. He's always talking about the Moto X. Yeah, he's never had one. We just have to like give him one for a little bit. I've held it in store and it's okay, that my brother buy one. That doesn't count. Like, my poor we, brother is still rocking the Nexus S. Oh, what the hell? Yeah. Will so, you, will you get him off of Sprint already? He yeah. no, he he because he, he got a micro cell, so he's sticking with them. Wow. That's yeah. tough. Yeah. yeah. That's tough. I feel bad for anyone on Sprint. If you're in the chat, I'm sorry that I just said that, but I do feel bad for you. Yeah, I tried. I tried to talk him into switching to T-Mobile, but the the service is pretty good in our area. But there are spots where it's spotty. But it's the same thing for Sprint, so it's kind of a lose lose. And if you're by yourself yeah. switching to AT&T or Verizon, the price jumps up a lot. So I don't blame him. Well, yeah, that's way. true. That's true. If you are, if you go to Verizon or AT&T by yourself, you're right. It's not really a good deal at all. Yeah, if you can go in on a, on a if, yeah, if you can get like a group of friends and do a group mm -hmm. plan or something like that, then it's fine. It's not a big deal. You split the plan; it's cheap. But not by yourself, no. No. All right, so we all pretty much said Moto X, except Eric randomly tossed out Nexus Five Gosh. there. I'm. It's like what a weird thing. Fifty-fifty, <laughs> exactly. It yeah. is so hard to decide. So I'm with you. It's, like not, it's not 50-50 exactly. No, it is to me. I will, yeah. I will die on this hill. What a <laughs> <laughs> Ron's going for employee of the month for that moto money. This. <laughs> He's working the most hard. Right right. Right. Yeah, I got the most sales, guys. <laughs> we, have, we haven't had a show for a week or so. Ron's like, I got to get as much as working possible. Overtime. <laughs> I, I'm working I will overtime. Say, yeah. I will say that, I, well, Tim and I were talking about this earlier that during that Amazon deal, well, no, that Amazon screw up a couple weeks ago where they were selling phones for like 200 bucks. <laughs> so I picked up a Verizon LG G2 because I don't really have a Verizon phone that I'm using right now. So my SIM card was just kind of sitting in my Nexus 7 LTE, not getting any use. And so I opened up this LG G2 and it's a really good phone. Like I kind of missed it a little bit. Other than the really ugly, glossy backside and the button situation, which you can kind of get used to, like such a good phone. The battery life lasts for like a day and a half. And if you just leave it sitting there idle, even with LTE on, no Wi-Fi, it lasts for like four days, I think. It's insane. Yeah. Anyways. I just can't stand those commercials. I just oh. want to punch myself every time they come on television. Oh, oh, G2? LG's got yeah. some work to do. I haven't now. seen them. I did see a pretty sweet uh, Moto, what was it, Moto X commercial though. Moto X those commercials. What? Those uh, those G two commercials are actually pretty catchy. The little jingle they got go going. Oh, I always find wow. myself singing it whenever it comes on. I'm like, that's uh -huh. genius right there. Because now I'm thinking about the G two. Well, it's yeah. terrible. I, I think that I've seen them, but I don't. I couldn't tell you what the commercials were about. The one where it's like you use your index finger for almost everything. They've got all those people oh. chanting in the background. Oh, 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 this sounds weird. Okay. Yeah, that does sound weird. I don't, I don't have cables. So I never see commercials. So I never feel like references. Oh, I'm like, okay. I don't know. Gotcha. Man, rocking an iPhone and doesn't have cable. Are you so a vegan as well? 
No, <laughs> I, I, I am wearing a... Uh, yeah. What is that? I'm the one Anchorman on the shirt. Right Anchorman? Oh, you're the... Ah. Yeah. Nice. New Great. suits. I like that. Is that coming <laughs> out soon? Like this week or something? Yeah. Christmas. I think so. Um, I thought they moved the date up. Ron Burgundy they moved it to Christmas. Christmas tomorrow night. Oh, no. I thought they moved it up to... Like, oh, moved it up? Oh, that's... Yeah. Well, just check Just that. check Google now, because they spam you with all sorts of information about movies now, so it should be right in there. I hate that. Okay, the, yeah. This isn't really one of our topics, but is Google now getting a bit overwhelming to anyone else? Because they yeah. do spam up crap all the time now. Like, it's you know, there's not really random sites, and I'm not digging that. Yeah, and you can't really turn that stuff down. No. There's no settings to turn it or manipulate it. Yeah. That's you just have to swipe it about. away like an animal. You do. It's the worst. And <laughs> Google sucks. Wasn't, wasn't it with the last update they said, we're going to start doing um, website updates and you could pick your favorite websites and almost use it like a reader? That never happened. At least that feature doesn't I exist I kind of don't mind. want that to happen. I don't know. What are you talking? I totally want that to happen. Like, allow me to what? Least choose what sites I want to have come into my Google yeah. now. Like, well, I'm, yeah, I but know. I don't want it to be a full reader, though. Yeah, then it's like no, blank no, feed. Who no, no that? Saying, no one is saying full reader. Yeah, kind of like, like blank, blank feed, feed, except minus like the whole feed. separate page for like part of the article. You know, like just maybe they'll just do it. And if they'll I probably just do it, it based on your. They'll just do it based on your browsing history that they already have. And yeah, but guess what sites you want to see. Yeah, but that's not. That's what they do right now. Yeah, but that's not what's happening. Like, I see sites that I specifically do not visit, and right, I now. see them in yeah. Google now. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's my point. And that's what I don't want. Like, I want Google to be smart and notice that, oh my god, this guy's on Droid Life all the time. We should probably <laughs> send him, you know, links to Droid Life. That would yeah. be smart. But no, that's not what they're doing. They're not scroogling me. Like, they're not spying on <laughs> me enough to figure out what I'm trying to do. <laughs> One of those commercials yeah. came on over Thanksgiving while we were all sitting there digesting our, you know, Thanksgiving dinner. And everybody, everybody, you know, not even just me, was like, "Wow, <laughs> that they went a little bit far on that one." It was the the Pawn Stars oh, the one. Pawn Stars one. I was Ooh. actually, I was offended personally by that. I was like, I watch that show all the time. I'm like, you guys are repping Windows tablets and crap. <laughs> just in case somebody uh, in the world maybe doesn't have cable, do you guys want to describe those commercials? I can't. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know the commercial you're talking about, and I have so cable. So this girl walks into the Pawn Stars thing and she sets oh. down a Chromebook and she's like, I don't, I don't, I don't even know how much money she asks for. <laughs> I think it's like five hundred dollars or something. And he's like, he gives her that look, you know, like you're stupid. You're out of your mind. And he's like, why do you, why do you think this is worth so much money? This is a Chromebook. That Google sign means that it doesn't have Windows. It doesn't do this and this and this. And it was, it was pretty, pretty heated. There were some shots fired. If and we, were uh, these? Is this like the real Pawn Stars guys? Oh too? yeah, it was oh, okay. uh, in uh, old man wow. talking to this girl and telling her that her Chromebook so wasn't worth anything. It's pretty interesting. Haven't seen it. Didn't know it existed. Oh man, I thought for sure you would have seen it. I know you watch TV. Like I watch TV constantly. It's like yeah. my life right now. Yeah, I don't know, so I don't know how you haven't seen it. You'll see it. Don't worry. I'm sure it will. <laughs> Fun stuff. I'm surprised uh, it wasn't anyway. filling up Anyways. your inbox. That's no, the thing is, the thing is, yeah, they they specifically state that when you're using a Chromebook, that it's only Google spying on you to track your history, oh, so yeah, you, they so they can sell you ads. That. Yeah, so that's they, true. That's accurate. It that, doesn't that matter if it's accurate. true. You don't call Google out like that. They use the word <laughs> not cool. They specifically yeah. use the word spying, though, which I feel like was a... They, that's what they're doing. Stretch. It's not. It's They're pretty much spying on you. I would, I, would, I would have to agree. I mean, they really are. I'm just okay yeah. with them spying on me. I just don't really care. Yeah, you kind of consent when you check, yes, I agree to you spying on me. But, but actually, they don't. Like they, they are notorious for bypassing that stuff. They just got done with a lawsuit. Where they had to pay like twenty five million for for bypassing that in Safari. They have cookies in there without like they do that. They like they literally spy on people. That's what they do. Okay. All right. I'll give you that. No, I'm not. I will not defend that they are not spying on you or trying and not even like spying. They're just trying to like you know. They're just watching you. That about you. You gave them consent. You clicked. <laughs> I agree. So again, we sometimes not always though. What if I just do a Google search and I'm in, uh, you know, I'm just hanging out in Internet Explorer. I'm not signed in. By using Google.com, you I didn't uh, check anything. You, I didn't sign you anything. Sub, you and I don't know. You agree to these terms? <laughs> I'm sure it's in the small print. <laughs> <laughs> there is no, there's just giant Google print. That's it. <laughs> You have to look real closely, Ron. Pick All right, so right next to the screen. Spying, not exactly correct term. The definition, according to Google, 
<laughs> somebody, somebody was, linked the YouTube work, video. Work uh, you, for, went, you went to the objective source. That's good. I did. No, work good. for a government or other organization by secretly collecting information about enemies or competitors. I'm not a competitor or an enemy. But to Google. based on Prism, they are using it for the government. <laughs> Therefore, they're spying. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, but they're not knowingly doing that. Uh, or the government. They're not allowed to say that they're knowingly doing that. They've been pretty vocal about bashing the government, haven't they, about all that stuff? Kind of. But they, no, they, they, can't, they can't come out and it's illegal for them to come out and say that the government has requested that stuff, even though it's pretty positive that the government did. Stupid eh. government. The anyway. government. Anyways, they're, okay, they're spying a little bit. Uh, we're all getting screwed. And the Pawn Stars were right. Should <laughs> <laughs> have listened to the Pawn Stars. Listen to them. Don't buy Chromebooks, guys. They it's don't just that it, it's just that it's the Pawn Stars, you know, because I feel like I'm a yeah, lot it was more. Just so weird. I'm more uh, in the Rick. know when it comes to technology than Rick and the old man and uh, Boss Hog or whatever his son's name. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, is this, is this I, I always think Pawn of Stars Bob, or Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> no, I always think <laughs> a little of bit Bob of both. Hog when I hear his son's name. What is it? Uh, it Big starts Hoss. with an H. Big Hoss. Big Hoss. Yeah. Thank you, Boss Hog. And uh, <laughs> so I'm just like, I, I I, just don't like it when they, they, they're talking like they know what it is they're talking about. They're reading off a script, you know, yeah. because they got these paychecks. And that's what kind of offends me. But, like, stick to your antiques and, you know, your, your, your silly stuff. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And yeah, leave the text I mean, to that's, the, to the that's pretty much guys. the same thing we do when we talk about the Moto X. We're just reading the script. Okay. Us, <laughs> us well, and all I mean, of the press. We're not allowed to talk about <laughs> Anyways. There goes Ron's bonus. <laughs> now it's up for grabs. Man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways, uh, yeah, we got off on. We got away from Google now to Scroogle to spying to the government to Pawn Stars. It's Pawn all stars. relevant. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, uh, just briefly, the Moto G. Uh, we haven't talked a lot about it on the site because there's not really a lot to say, but we do have one. We sort of unboxed it, did a little overview. I just think it's a cool move that Motorola is making by putting out a $179 phone for, you know, emerging markets or anyone that only has $179 and no contract and all that stuff. But the phone's actually not bad for $179. Obviously, you have no LTE, but I don't know. Pretty cool deal, I think, for 200 less than 200 bucks, you get a brand-new smartphone. If they could figure out a way to market this towards, like, younger kids, you know, and try and pry them away from iPhones, they could make so much money. That's, like... Two months worth of allowance. Yeah, it'd probably be like a great teenager phone or something. Or actually, don't kids give or don't parents give their kids phones when they're like six now? So it'd be a good, a great like kindergarten phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They don't need to prime away from iPhones. Android's the most popular one. They just need to prime away from other Android phones. <laughs> That's actually true. Yeah. Especially because uh-huh. because the I, yeah the Android phones that they're buying for those kids are That's the crap phone. Yeah. yeah okay. Did you guys phone. see the picture I tweeted earlier? No. No, I don't think so. Okay, Verizon sent me a uh, thing oh, telling me yeah. to do uh, to do the Verizon Edge or whatever. I saw a Thunderbolt. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> okay, the pictures in there. So they put pictures of the phones. The first one is like a it's one of the new razors, Galaxy S3, LG G2. Then behind that, they have the LG Dare, which is a dumb phone from <laughs> 2009. Uh, they have the Thunderbolt, nice. uh, 2010. They have the Bliss, HTC Bliss. Oh wow! They have they have two. They have another LG Dare way in the back twice. They have a Thunderbolt twice as well. They also have two phones running Windows Mobile 6.5, but not the Touch Pro 2. I think they're the last one, whatever it was called, uh, HD2 by HTC. Those are the phones that they're showcasing for for Edge. They couldn't apparently they couldn't like put in any other phones. Like they had to all like just get old copies of old terrible phones. Like literally like three, four, or five year old <laughs> phones. Like, jeez. Well, you know what well, I actually think LG... this is? Sorry, or, go for it. I'm just wondering how many HTC Blisses they have. Just oh, just, just the one purple Bliss in there. <laughs> I feel like this was uh, someone in marketing. This was their idea. They were like, I want to show an evolution of someone's phones to the newest and greatest. I think that's actually what it was. And it wasn't <laughs> supposed to look like, here's our lineup of awesome kick-butt phones. you know. And so I think this was possibly a mistake. I agree. It was a mistake, just for a reason. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But yeah, <laughs> I, I do want to know who their uh, their graphic artist is because they're terrible they're at they're everything terrible. they yeah, do. They screw bad. up so much stuff on uh, commercials, constantly. in yeah. print, in everything. They're, they use weird screenshots from other phones on stuff. Yeah. Well, we call them out often, but 
My favorite is the ones where they show double navigation buttons on a phone. Like, that doesn't look immediately <laughs> yeah. odd to the guy editing that. Like, My favorite is when banks do this a lot. A lot of banks do this. They'll have an iPhone with uh, Android capacitive keys underneath oh, it. Oh, yeah. That's my favorite one. <laughs> nice. I want yeah, that phone. That's good. <laughs> yeah. You can get it. It's called the... Uh... The, what's it called? The MIUI? The Goo... No, goo the, the Goo the app. Goo. Oh, goo, goo Apple. It's was goo it the Goo Apple? Apple? Yeah. Oh, the goo yeah. Goo Apple. Yeah, Goo Apple. That thing was awesome. That thing was awesome. All right, let's talk uh, quickly, maybe not quickly, Galaxy S5 rumor that came out. Well, it's not really a rumor. It's a benchmark. We got a model number. We've got some specs in this benchmark, and people are thinking it could be the Galaxy S5. And then I think it was essentially coupled with a rumor around the same time that somebody said we might see the phone early next year rather than mid-next year. I know, Tim, you wrote this up. What, what's going on with the Galaxy S5? Is this the first big sort of evidence of something, maybe? Not really. I mean, we've been seeing stuff here and there all over the place. I know you've been sort of like AFK, maybe missing yeah. out on some of the action. But, I think uh, I've just been ignoring it because it's so early yeah, that it's yeah. all crap. Yeah, but apparently it's not that early. We could po- potentially be about a month or two away from a from a release. And um, I mean, according to rumors and speculation and all that fun stuff. And nothing's uh, confirmed. Yeah, but I digest. <laughs> just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> um, so what we saw today was uh, over on GFX Bench benchmarking site. It showed uh, it had a new model number for the Galaxy S5. It showed a 2K display, um, so you know a little bump up really from a 1080p. I mean nothing too. It would just be more of like where a five-inch display has that 19 whatever by 1080, but this one would have like a 5.25-inch display and like a 500 plus pixel per inch type of. So just very very dense. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Very ridiculous. And um, so besides the 2K display and the Snapdragon 800, which was shown in the bench, that's really all we saw from today. Okay. But then again, we, I mean, you and me talked, we were like, well, I mean, for Samsung to launch the S5 with, the, you know, only an S800, we were sort of like, man, given that Qualcomm already announced the Snapdragon 805, which is all about uh, being like 4K displays and super media content heavy and being able to deliver that stuff. So that you know, this could be some prototype phone just going through benchmarks and whatever. Nothing, nothing's confirmed. Yeah. Um, we also saw. I don't know if you were here, but there was like a metallic, a metal chassis. Yeah. yeah. That, you know, got pictures of that. I mean, it looked like the chassis for a Nexus Five, though, to me. I mean, it didn't really resemble what you would see from a Galaxy phone, which is usually more curved, and this was more kind of squared off or rectangular. And, uh, I mean, really, that's that's all we got. We haven't seen a picture of the phone or anything like that, but, uh, I mean, hmm. yeah, so other than that, we, we could still be some time away, but... Yeah, the knows? only thing I thought was a little weird was the, the model number, SM-G900S or something like that. Most of the Galaxy S models, when they start out, they're like GTI. Right. They've, they've kind of gone, what, like 9100, 92, 93, yep. 9500 or something, so... Yeah, pretty good. It almost, it almost looks like a Note model number, but... And isn't there a rumor that there's going to be a Note a premium light? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. That? There was that, and this that would actually make kind of more sense. Yeah. But then again, why would I don't know if it would be more like a light version if they're going to be throwing in such like a, a oh, gnarly display. Yeah. Um, but then again, there was there's been talks about the Samsung like a premium line of this thing, like a super galaxy type deal. Uh, I think it was the F line, and. Um, I, yeah, who knows? I mean, CES is, like, right around the corner, so potentially, I mean, they could just be kind of showing off more stuff, and I don't know what you're going to say, Ron. You're just laughing. I don't. He's going to say we're not going to see anything at CES is what he's going to say. exactly yeah. what I would say. We were talking about that before you got into the show. Oh, poor, really? Poor, poor yeah. CES. Before you woke up from your nap. Yeah, I think, I think Samsung, they always, you know, they have something at CES. I don't know if it's going to be exactly what you want. I mean, they always save, like, the good stuff for their uh, unpacked. Own. Yeah. But, I mean, if this is something different, you know, then CES isn't a bad place to announce it. I mean, if you want to have the Galaxy S line for Unpacked and then Unpacked 2 be for the Note line, then CES is still a viable place to launch a phone, especially like a premium device if that's what they were shooting for or anything. I mean, it, it, they can still announce something at CES. I mean, 
I wish is we that, could go back to like, four years ago when CES actually mattered. <laughs> People yeah. announced stuff. That, those were like the good days. CES is turning into CTIA. It kind of is slowly. And, that's, is. Yeah, and CTIA is basically dead, so. Yeah. RIP. Yeah. Hey, now we the, had we had Jennifer Lopez, and so it wasn't too dead. God. Yeah. There was a Jennifer Lopez sighting, that's right. Yeah. Saving CTIA. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Jenny. Right, so yeah, Galaxy S5. We, we really don't know anything, but we're thinking we're seeing more information slowly come out, trickle yeah. out a little bit. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, officially we don't know anything, but we think we know everything. Yeah. So that's where we stand, <laughs> as always. All right. Yeah, as always. All right, so Android distribution numbers recently published by Google. We're looking at the debut of KitKat on 1.1% of devices. Yes. That's, uh, what, a month? Month after it was, you know, unveiled or whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's, sad. Sad. that's, that's good. so sad. Don't say that. Come on, that's not pretty that's good. Pretty good. good. <laughs> so yeah, Jelly Bean's up to fifty-four point five. KitKat's one point one. Uh, so that basically means that that's the, the Moto X basically is one percent of all devices, maybe, because we know the Nexus Five is not that many. Yeah. And it's I the think only other thing running it. Well, I guess there's some Nexus, Nexus 7s. 7. Wait, so, yeah, I guess you have to combine all the Nexus 7s and the Nexus 4 and the Nexus 5 and the Moto X, and you only get 1.1% of devices. Yeah, yeah. any, any well, GPU those, devices. There's a lot of those yeah. those devices still out there that probably haven't even been updated. Like, I mean, I no. you know, th- those numbers got probably cut off before even, like, say, um, for example, my brother updated his Nexus 4 to KitKat. And I was like, what took you so long? And I was like, oh, right, it wasn't even available, you know, for forever. So, you know, it's hard to hear such a small number for that, especially for an important update. At least I think KitKat's important. But then again, you know, when you're used to hearing uh, adoption rates from Apple, and there's always, like, you know, very high percentages, it's because the process is so much more streamlined for them. You know, and they only have a couple of devices to worry about, blah, blah, blah. Well, and they're their devices. Yeah, I mean, it's not really a comparison yeah. that anyone should ever make, but there's... It's not yeah. fair. No, we should never compare it. I mean, the Galaxy, what is it, the iPhone 3GS has iOS 7, and Galaxy Nexus and Nexus S will never see it. We shouldn't compare the two at all. Because, you know, it's not like Google controls those devices. They'll never see iOS 7? I think no, they'll, they'll never see 4.4. What? What the, devices? The comparison is not to do distribution numbers and or adoption rate because Google doesn't control the Galaxy S4 or the HTC One or but any they do. But devices. they do control the Galaxy Nexus, which isn't getting it, and the Nexus S, which isn't getting it, which are both the same age as phones that Apple is releasing updates for. Yeah, so I mean that sucks that Google cuts off some of their phones probably before. Right. You can you can should, kind, but... you can excuse you know the the skin phones and stuff like that, but the fact that Google's own flagships aren't getting it, and when it's designed for low end phones and they're still not getting it, like that's no. just BS. Yeah, but again, no, it's not BS because I. I feel like everyone was thinking that their old crappy phones were going to get updated to KitKat just because it could run it. I think it was kind of more of a moving forward thing. Like, okay, now even the low-end phones that are being made can run our newest version of the OS. It wasn't like how many, go, how many, how many times going, are we going to have go this backwards, Ron? They want to go forward. Why? Are but how many times are we going to have this moving forward talk? Where hey, yeah, we're abandoning <laughs> all this stuff, but we're you know, don't worry, we're moving forward. Get a new phone. It'll maybe get updates for a year. I think like that's I that's think not okay. Maybe, I think people overestimate the power of the Galaxy Nexus, for example. Like, I'm sorry, that phone is hella old, and I use the term hella very, you know, I perfectly here. I think. Um, uh, most off of mine. Uh, exactly. It's an old phone. It's running an old OMAP processor. I mean, you do. Uh, I, if you have that phone, you should have already upgraded by now. You know, to a phone that you know will be able to run KitKat. Wink, wink. Um, <laughs> Moto X. So. Well, like I- yeah, I don't know that anyone's things. really. I don't know that Google is committed to more than a couple of years of supporting devices. They have, they've, com- they've loosely committed to eighteen months. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, there you so go. What? They gave it eighteen yeah. months. I, that sucks, but they they're sticking to that, right? So, right, but that shouldn't be the standard. Like the Galaxy Nexus is still being sold. Like, I don't know well, where I could buy. Yeah, a I don't know where I could buy one either. But yes, okay. So the it that's if you go to a carrier, so well, based but, on my Verizon Edge promo, it's definitely still being sold. Yeah. But. Again, I told you that was a marketing foul up. It was the evolution. Of the <laughs> but that's but like <laughs> even even if you ignore that, like it was being sold, you know, for way past that time to the point where somebody could still be well into a two year contract, and that's their new phone that they got. 
I don't know what to tell I, them. I guess they like if, have done some research. If, <laughs> if Apple's supporting devices that well, are I, four I years agree, old, that's, like, oh, that's good for them, but Google hasn't committed to that. So I don't think we can really just hammer on Google for saying we're not going to commit to something for that long and then hammer on them when they don't. You know what I mean? Well, no, no, no. Right, that's fine. I think, I, But I think we should expect Google to be able to do things like that now. Like... That's fine, you know, back, back, you know, back in 2009, 2010, I get it. But, like, we're at a place now where we should be able to, you know, the phones can handle it. We've, we've seen that. We know that. Um, you know, like, so we know they can do that even if they have to remove some features or whatever to save room for the, you know, so they can roll out the ROM or whatever they have to do. Like, we've seen this in the past. It's just they're, they're not doing it for whatever reason. And that's, you know, well, that's not, I don't think that's, if I, if I was a Galaxy Nexus owner, I'd be kind of, I'd be kind of pissed off right now. Oh yeah, they are pissed too. Yeah, they are pissed, but then they, they need to just be understanding of the situation that they themselves probably put themselves in. I think. Well, they, how did they, they, how they, did they put themselves in the situation? They bought a phone that they thought was going to be supported by Google. Of well, they course, did for it's been months. two years. Exactly. Well, yeah, it's been two years since they probably bought that. If they bought it like right when it first came out, it's right. definitely Which been two years. Which is not an years. assumption we get to make. Well, no, it, it's not, but we're, I'm, I'm talking about, say, you know, the people I know or the majority of the people that read our site. We've seen the polls, and there's pl- still plenty of, like, Galaxy Nexus owners. And, a big chunk, yeah. Yeah, of course. And a lot of them need to, it's time to start looking for a new device, not worrying about when KitKat's coming. The, like, that, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's that. That's, right, well, that's, hey, and I agree, like, that's the reality, right? Like, there, it is the rea- can, It's an unfortunate reality, that. but it is right, the reality. Right, and that's, that's my point, not that it's not the reality, obviously it's the reality, but, like, I, that, I hear what you're saying. We should have, and we should be, we shouldn't just be like, oh, well, too bad, Google doesn't like you, like, we should be pushing Google, to, hey, Google should be doing better, like, no. there's... See, I don't, I don't agree with that because I want them focused more on newer devices and making sure that the the future is secure, not so much worrying. The future about is like, secure. What did what did <laughs> KitKat add? Fun. You have Google now on the left, and you have giant icons. Like, there's not, there's nothing. It's not that hard to put it on there. Dude, it's not a big enough difference from the, from four to three, which Ron's you can't even get on the Galaxy Nexus. Yeah. So the Galaxy Nexus yeah. should be able to run. They're running the same chipset. Yeah. You're um, going to I make guess it I'm, very hard for me to defend you. Like I guess when I'm, Twitter I'm war curious. starts. <laughs> Wait, I don't, I don't know if there's there's numbers out there, but there probably is somewhere. But for the people that keep phones longer than two years and whether or not they give a shit if their phone gets updates, like, like if those have any sort of correlation. Cause, and I get that some Galaxy Nexus owners, because they're, you know, they, they're hanging on to this phone because they're only Nexus on Verizon. There's really not that many of those people. They're just probably really vocal. But I'm just wondering the person that bought the uh, other Purple Razor that's probably in the public somewhere, and they've had it for two and a half <laughs> years. Like, do they care that it's not getting, you know, an update to, like, I don't even know if that has Jelly Bean officially. <laughs> so, maybe, I guess but, we could we could talk we could, about these phones not getting support after two years. But I bet you that most people that keep phones longer than two years, they probably don't even know what an update is. Or if they do, they're like, oh, okay, maybe, I got an update unless, today. Unless unless they're in a lower income bracket and they decided to get into Android after getting that phone and they learned all about mm-hmm. it and now they're super in you know they're super into it, but their phone isn't officially supported with the newest version. Like those well, those those humans exist. Well, if they got super into Android, then they should realize the problem that they just have a crappy phone. <laughs> I mean, they could easily pick up a Moto G for one seventy nine off contract, and they're already on Android four point three, and that thing will probably see KitKat. So it is, yeah, guaranteed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I guess there's 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 special Kit cases Kat, there for go. you know all of these phones. I I I would just and like I said, I don't know the numbers offhand. I would argue that the majority of that stuff, two years, people probably don't care because they probably are upgrading most phones, and the people that don't probably don't care about updates. I'm, exactly. Again, hey, I don't have anything to back that up. I'm just. just Sort of course. feeling I have. It, it's hard because I think we only see kind of like from a minority perspective to where we all, of course, care about what OS, you know, and not just us for, but like the people on the site and stuff, they're always like, you know, what, what version of the OS am I on? They're very conscientious about what they're doing with their phones. They do not speak for the entire, you know, world of smartphone users who probably don't know what updates are. Kellen's right on the money, dude. I know plenty of people who don't know what updates are, what they do for their phone, et cetera, et cetera. Exactly, and that's, and that's, that's fine. There's tons of people, you know, there's tons of people that, you know, have iPhones that have no idea that they can get an update either. Like, that's, they, they exist. That's fine. But the, the, the key issue there that I'm trying to bring up is, isn't, is, is really just that Google should be supporting those phones. Google should still be doing that, especially, especially their flagship phones, the ones that they can, you know, the ones that they do have some sort of control over unless they're on Verizon. Like, 
I would. Yeah, those I don't would count respect. For sure. Yeah, and somebody and somebody saying in chat, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that you guys are cheap. I'm not saying that anybody's <laughs> cheap. I'm saying if you're in a lower income, like if you can't afford to buy a new phone, those humans the exist. iPhone guys telling everyone they're cheap. You got you, you got labeled that, Ron. Watch out, yeah, watch yeah. Out. I have the iPhone five cheap. Like, like I get it, right? Like sometimes you can't afford to get a brand new crazy phone. Like I get it, right? Like. And so, if if you're in that situation, you know, if you're if you're the one that's going, oh look, I can get a really, you know, I can get the Galaxy Nexus for free right now, and you and you decide to get it, like you should you should be able to get that support, like. Well, and to your point, some people might not, but you know, like say that when the Galaxy S4 originally came, well, let's go with the Galaxy S3. It came out last year. You can still buy that now, and it's free everywhere, right? And we're yeah. already over a year into when it was released, so if somebody buys it now, but again. Just I don't know that anyone's committing to supporting those. You know, maybe they should, but I don't think anyone wants to. Right. So nobody is, know. right. And I'm not saying anybody is. I'm just saying they should. That's yeah. that's the only argument. Apparently you guys think everybody should just buy new phones every <laughs> any time they get Oh well excuse yeah. us for being the one percent, Ron. <laughs> Which yeah. and by and by the way, doing this whole like eighteen month support, everybody's contracts now are twenty four months. So even right. if you did do it, you're not guaranteed to support for the lifetime that you're gonna have the phone. Like it's it's, it's, insane, it's not. Like, it's not a great number. No, it's not no. a great number at all. When Especially now, too, that phones are better than ever, and they last for more than two years in a lot of cases. Like a Galaxy yeah. S4 is going to last you if you needed it to, probably four years. I mean, it's that fast and powerful a phone, right? Same My with the brother Galaxy is still limping along with the Nexus S. Like you can do it. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad for your brother. I'm just saying, there's a um, there's a complete oversaturation uh, of phones in the market, and if you're talking about Google and all and the OEMs and all these people. Continuously supporting the older devices, I think you're you're fighting a losing battle. Well, I'm not. I, that's why I specifically said I'm only talking about Google. I've been saying for years and years that that OEM should be slowing down, and they finally are. Even though I got a lot of crap for saying that. No, it's going to slow down innovation. <laughs> Shockingly, it hasn't slowed down innovation. Things have continued to progress. Um, but like, <laughs> weird. That's like that's all. I was, like I get it that you know companies like Samsung they're they're gonna crap out a phone every couple months and they're still gonna do that and not support all of them. That's fine, but you know Google's flagships should still be supported. And that's they all are. I'm saying. And they're they not. Are. They're not. The Galaxy Nexus is no longer a flagship device. As soon as it gets replaced, it's boom, no longer a flagship phone. That's how it works. You don't say that the iPhone four is Apple's flagship device. It no, was. It was. So it, it, if you know if it was up to me, like. You know there would be no support for it, and you know luckily I'm not in charge. But <laughs> regardless, regardless, I'm just saying like it makes sense. You know that sure Apple t- is able to put out the updates for all their phones because you know basically they're all the same. They're the, each time it's only getting like a small bump in specs, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's all basically the same thing. The that's OS, all that's happening on any phone ever. What's the Galaxy S4? That's not a slight bump in specs from the Galaxy S3. I they think they even changed the chassis. Man, they went from 720p to 1080. <laughs> I could do the same argument with the 3GS to the 4. Like, it does, it, it's it's all slight improvements year over year. That's what you see, and sometimes you see a chassis redesign. Like that's what phones what do. The, what was the chipset for the Galaxy or the Nexus 4? I mean, going uh, from the going from the OMAP to that Snapdragon is not nice. that's four slight Pro. That's like four that Pro. is a yeah. that is a entire architecture change there that you had to. Make Not your- only are there changes in the hardware, big changes, excuse me, Ron, but probably bigger changes than what was seen in the 3GS to the 4 or whatever. Um, I'm, you know, not Android is changing, like, year over year. Way, like, huge changes in comparison to what iOS has seen in terms of changes. So when you're talking about, you know, bringing all the different software and all that, like the older phones, I think it's just sort of a waste of time, basically. Well, I think sort of on a really high-level sort of broad area of this sort of topic is Apple has created this... um, it's it's like a thing when an update comes out on iOS. Like everyone everyone that has an Apple device, at least people that I know or you know that have these, they go, I can't wait to get the new update. Look, when iOS seven came out, these people knew, and Apple you know throws these numbers out there and like shoves it in everyone's face that we upgrade faster and all this stuff. And so then it's made this sort of argument to Android, why are their numbers so bad? And that's sort of I think where we get to this point anyway. And and I guess like my argument always comes back to they're just shouldn't necessarily be compared to begin with maybe because they're completely different approaches. I would agree Uh, that they don't need to be compared and I think that's proven by the fact that I know multiple people that yeah the older iPhones do get updates but 
I know a bunch of people that iOS pretty much ran their phone into the ground when they got updated. And yeah, I, iOS that. 7 is going to slam your, especially on the 4, don't upgrade. Yeah, so, so how is that? How is that different from Google saying, "Oh, well, it would it would run exactly what, Nexus into the ground." I know exactly. a seven. I know seven has deal? major oh. overhaul changes compared to something oh, that's running crap. compared to something that's running Jelly Bean going for to KitKat. There are not there are not that many changes from Jelly that's Bean to KitKat. That's not our decision to make. To quote you from earlier, I think Google. I'm not. That's not a decision. That's that's a fact. Like, look at the changes. They're they're not that significant. Yeah. You can maybe I'm make just, an argument from ICS I'm just to turning Jelly Turning the Bean. argument around. That's a I, both ways. I think it's very uh, what's the word subjective <laughs> to say that the changes between early Jelly Bean and Kit Kat are, are small or whatever. You know, I mean, I, yeah, that's my opinion. Yeah, and your opinion, it <laughs> when you when you don't have like a new Android phone, this is why I'm going to send you a Moto X, dude. I promise, send this is what's going to happen because. I think you will see. If you have used... So I've been using Android day in and day out uh, since I got my OG Droid. And, dude, I mean, Android has just been evolving Well, so yeah, of course, from the, of course from the Droid to now. Yeah, you're talking Android 2.0. It clear. Yeah, yeah, but, okay. And Which, what yeah, I'm, I'm using is, my iPhone, and I can still remember all those names. We, you're welcome. No, of course, and I love you for it. <laughs> what I'm saying is, um, you know, I, and I've seen iPhones right alongside, you know, the whole time. Cool. And while it may not look like it's changing, you know, I know that there are subtle changes in iOS. I'm just saying it's not, it just can't be as much as you probably think it is because you're using it. Or, you know, and maybe it's just reverse. What is that? Have to... No, all maybe saying, it's just reverse not... because if I was using yeah. iOS, say, I would probably realize all the huge changes that are going into the OS and all that. And no, if you were using Android, you slowly. would realize the changes. It changes, iOS changes very slowly. I don't think there's anybody that can argue that it changes dramatically. You can say that iOS 7 was a dramatic change aesthetically, but not in terms of how it operates unless you're talking to 64-bit on 5S. Right. That's the only argument you can possibly make. It's changed hugely aesthetically, which is the same thing that happened from Gingerbread to ICS. You have a big aesthetic change, and you had a lot of overhaul because you had the honeycomb in between there, which changed a lot of the under, you know, the underpinnings of it, which was only on tablets. So, but you're, but the changes from what I'm saying is the changes from Jelly Bean to KitKat. You have a you have a Galaxy Nexus running on Jelly Bean. Mm -hmm. KitKat doesn't have things that it, it can run on there. There's no reason to say that it, that it sh shouldn't well, be able to run to on there. Well, to say that the to say that Jelly Bean ran well on the Galaxy Nexus. That's going to stutter <laughs> and, and things like that. Fine, we're, but you know, we're starting. I think we've established that looking back on it, the Galaxy Nexus was not holding up well over time, and I it was that no, yeah, OMAP processor point. because every single one of my family who's had the Razer with that OMAP processor, those phones are dead, like <laughs> unusable. My purple my razor went lives. through three <laughs> OMAP razors because they were just terrible, and now she's on an iPhone. I don't know what you're talking about. This is Maybe great. It's just I've got Texas the, I've got the new Google launcher right yeah. there. I've got the new Google launcher on my Purple Razor. It's, I, it's I alive. That. It's Texas Instruments. Texas <laughs> yeah. Instruments fault for everything. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well they've, they've always been lousy <laughs> processors. Every, any phone that has a Texas yeah. Instrument processor has always had weird hiccups. That's I mean, that's always been the case. Yeah, I'm not. they're out of the game. I don't know where we're going anymore with this, but I think... <laughs> I'm, pissed. I'm, I'm pissed off that uh, that Ron thinks the Galaxy Nexus deserves to have Wait. Kit Kat. Like, I'm pissed off that you're not holding Google to a high enough standard that you're letting them just walk away with that. No, because it's been two years, man. It's been two years. I let it go. <laughs> let you know, it go. If, if a girl broke up with me two years ago, I'm over it. It's been two years. Like I thought we had our time together, and it's <laughs> over. So let, let them do their thing. I'm going to do my thing. Goodbye, Galaxy Nexus. You're just not as sensey <laughs> like I am. You gotta still feel it. It's exactly. Scrub, Scrubs reference for the three well, of you that will get that. Yeah. Well, I used to watch Scrubs, and then I was like, oh, this is like very. Uh, well, let's not start. Very amazing. Not start. <laughs> now we're talking Scrubs. So, all right. So it's it's okay. It sucks that Google doesn't support phones for more than about eighteen months to two years. That sucks. They've apparently that's what they've decided they're gonna do. I guess we could write an opinion piece on why that's a terrible idea. Otherwise, I don't know. I mean, we could, I guess we could keep talking about this for like two hours. Oh, I can, we, I think, we don't. We don't have to talk about it. I, 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 I do think, think it's part of the problem that we don't is agree that, that that's a problem. Well, no, I, I think it sucks that they don't do. I'm just saying, if that's what they've committed to, then I, I guess I can yell at them and tell them that sucks. But I don't really know what else to say. I also think that with Apple deciding to, even though they chopped down their operating system to nothing, and they're still supporting those old phones, is a good move on their part. <laughs> Yeah, they 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 remove features, which which arguably you can't you can't make a good argument why they remove them. Why is AirDrop not available? But on, even on a 4S? even then, the phones don't run well though. So what's the point? 
Well, I, I actually I don't know. Do old? I'm, I'm assuming old iPhones probably run fine because the four Apple runs down everything. No, the four runs horribly in iOS seven. Four oh, S okay. is okay, but you're stuck to multitasking between three apps before it loses other memory. Five and Jesus. up are are okay. And do you find that that's acceptable, Ron? Do you really want someone to have a crappy experience just so they could be on the newest version of the OS? I think that's BS, no. man. No, my father-in-law has an iPhone 4, and I told him, do not upgrade your phone. That's what I'm saying. I, I just think it's BS that companies will try and, you know, push that stuff out when they know that their users could potentially have a bad time. That's all. And, like... Oh, I agree. I absolutely agree with you. Exactly. He should write an opinion piece on this. So then you're saying it's not really that big a deal that Google's not updating? because they No, don't I think, think, I think, don't I think, think it's a big run well. deal because it's, it's Google. <laughs> no, because I think that, like, iOS 7, there's a lot of under-the-hood change. Like, if you yes. if you look at phones from, like, the iPhone 4, which started running on uh, iOS 4 and goes all the way up to 6, runs fine. 7 has a ton of uh, changes that really affected memory. The 4S only had 4S and 4 only have 512 megabytes of RAM because Apple decided that it was too expensive or whatever. I don't care. It has low memory. That's the biggest issue. Once you add in some more RAM, it solves a lot of those problems. iOS 7 has, uses up a lot more memory than 6 did, but you don't see that difference from something like Jelly Bean to KitKat. That's what I'm talking about. Like the that's some the, BS too, man. They they lower the RAM necessary to run the OS. Right. So what are you just said? I I'm hearing two things. I don't know what you're talking about anymore, dude. Let's move on. Cause you said that there was no big like difference like that hours. in Android. I swear, I thought you just said that there was no big yeah, difference not... like that from Jelly Bean to Kit Kat. Yet, there is. No, the, but, the, but it's in the opposite way, right? Right. So I, I always, right. So it should, so okay. it should therefore, because it's the opposite oh, way, it should, should run on older phones for Android because, because, it's, because it's made it better. They never specified that it was going to be for older phones, though. Yeah, sure, it might be able to run, but like, why are they going to go visit the old phones that they aren't supporting anymore? That's all. Like to show to show customers that hey, we still care about you, even if you're on customers. older hardware. They don't. They don't care about them. Yeah, yeah. come on. What do you? Well, think? They, they don't. But that's that's, that's why that's why we consistently see. What'd you say, Eric? Then why why aren't we chastising Apple for not caring about their customers with the iPhone four that did upgrade? Or we just expect them to buy the 5S. Because Apple still thinks it's a better experience or something. They might. I don't know. I think yeah. I think they made a bad call on that. I wouldn't have made that call if I were them. So. Okay. Well, we have to chastise them, too, if we're going to chastise Google. How, sure. How old we, we, chast we chastise <laughs> Apple every day for Wait, years. Wait, how old is the, iPhone 4, the word iPhone. iPhone 4, two years old? Came out in 2010. Jesus, really? God, you're fast. Oh, because then it went 4S, then 5, yeah. then 5. Then 5, and five now 5S. Sorry, yeah. we've. I know we've been talking about this way too long. We can talk about it some other yeah, time. We can move yeah, on. We can move on. All right. <laughs> it's all peace and love. And, it is. And you're still that mad. That's my favorite part. <laughs> Dude, oh, trust me. Hey, hey, Ron, FYI, I do not get mad, bro. I do. I, especially about <laughs> do cell you get, phones. Do you get even? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I don't get mad. These, are, right, these yeah. are cell phones, so don't worry. Look, the, the, the distribution number thing, just because Android and, and iOS are so different, it's, it's just an argument that could go on literally for hours yeah. and hours. That's and why I said I thought 1% was a good number, because it's literally only been a month. Sure. Well, and I think, and I think the, big thing, the big thing that Google has done to mitigate that issue is you can still get up-to-date Google apps, at least, and, and most apps will still run. They're still supporting, gosh, they're still supporting Froyo for crying out loud most apps. Yeah. Um, which is which is problematic for you know API <laughs> races and everything else like that. But you can like even if you are on a phone that's on a slightly older version of Android, you're still able to get almost every single app that you would want to get, which is which is nice. They've done a lot of work to make sure you can do that, which is not the case on a lot of uh, iOS apps. I just want to know who the hell sells a gingerbread phone. 24 percent. <laughs> it's a big number, right? That's a huge number. I don't even know how that's running anymore. I mean, you're talking about them not supporting the Galaxy Nexus after two years. If you've got a gingerbread phone, that thing's like four years old. Yeah, and that's one one in four people <laughs> okay. that have Android. Who has a four-year-old phone? Um, one in four people are running it. That's insane. Captain that's insane. Howdy, we need to we need to bring up whoever made the HD HD two needs. We need to give that man his job back because that it's thing HTC. is running KitKat. Yeah. A little HTC love. Hasn't been much of that in a while. Anyway, yeah. let's move on. All right, let's move out of there. All right, I All just right. want to talk quickly about this Amazon Prime Air. I know it has nothing to do with Android, but drones flying. So I'm a huge Amazon Prime guy, not for the streaming movie crap. I just order stuff on Amazon all the time because it gets here in a day, and I only have to pay four bucks to have it get here in a day or two days for free or whatever. But drones delivering packages. Now, there's limitations, right? <laughs> Apparently, they can only fly 10 miles away from a... 
service center or distribution something. Distribution center, yeah. Yeah, but they want to deliver it to you in under 30 minutes or something like that. That's awesome. Is anyone uh, is anyone okay with that or not okay with so, that? Absolutely. I was at I was at class the other day when we wrote this story, and I came back and I asked my roommate if I had a package waiting for me because. Uh, you know, I was expecting it, and he's like, did a drone come and drop it off for you? I was like, what? Because I hadn't... <laughs> I was like, are we being hunted? I don't know. That would be so weird. Yeah, I think I, mean, I think there's been a lot of Twitter chatter about this, but have it, that, now that drone is like the main word for that, that like it's immediately associated with violence, and I think that right. is an issue. <laughs> right. Yeah, I think everyone just assumes they're going to, like, secretly have bombs strapped to them or something. I'm not really sure. But... Yeah, yeah. If, when Eric hears drone, he thinks he's being hunted. That's not a good response. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. They need. They definitely need a different name instead of drone. So we're delivering packages by drones. Yeah, that's not exactly the best we're all we're gonna, right I, now. I know <laughs> that there's going to be people out there shooting those down and looting them. Somebody, somebody was talking about that today, my coworker. <laughs> people are going to be taking guns out there to try and see what they can get out of Amazon drones. Yeah, I was talking about everybody's having a block party, and every 30 minutes, it's got drones crashing into each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, so has, have they said are these are these like manually controlled by someone? Who, like, how are the drones actually getting there? Are they? I don't know. Explain that, there, right? Okay. Well, because it's not it's not legal if they right. asked to prove it. So right. I don't think they need to explain it. But like drones, even the drones from military, like someone's controlling that drone. It's not just flying like. Yeah. Automatically by itself. I mean, somebody's oh, right. fl- flying it remotely, but well, you can, it's not you like can these are just putting GPS. Yeah, there are, yeah, there are the AI ones or whatever that fly themselves, but yeah, most of the time. Those ones that are on, on the missions, there's someone behind and the controls. How right. mad are you going to be, Kellen, if you order a phone and Amazon emails you and says, sorry, your phone isn't there because some kid shot it out of the air with a BB <laughs> gun and, to- and <laughs> took it? Well, and you know, the next move is Amazon starts arming their drones to defend from attacks. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Boom. Game over. What we need to do is just eliminate the uh, uh, amendment, Second Amendment, or whatever. No guns. Oh, take them all away. Oh boy, here we go. Oh boy, yeah. Here comes yeah. the chat. I here agree. Comes the chat now. I agree. Get rid of Second Amendment. Absolutely. <laughs> America. <laughs> We're that? not gonna go down that. Tim road. and I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Although I will say that you guys brought up shooting down drones, and one of the first comments when I threw that post up was, "I'm gonna shoot drones." I mean, that was the first thing. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. They didn't even hesitate. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to shoot some drones down. Yeah. Oh, too much violence in this nation. It really is. So anyways, it's not going to happen until, what, 2015 maybe, assuming approvals happen, or 2016 or something. And obviously obviously that's not going to be delivered to Montana or something. It has to have an Amazon retail distribution center. So it's not going to be flying. You're not going to get a a drone flying from (laughs) California to Montana to deliver your package. (laughs) You live in an apartment complex either. Yeah. Man, you just say, yeah, like, so I'm going to take away guns, and people get so pissed off. Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> Calm down, guys. Somebody wants you to die, yeah. They just We're joking. Kill, kill it's, a, it's a joke. I, I, I appreciate guns. I am not. Get rid of all the guns. No joke. See? Second Get Amendment is outdated, and I can explain it. It needs Talk to be to me on Twitter. Oh, boy. Yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll let you Twitter. save that for Twitter. Exactly, please, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Captain Howdy, rude. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, so, um... Oh, we could do apps and games. Unless yeah, you guys wish. Unless you guys actually did buy anything cool this weekend. Did I did not buy anything. anything. Yeah, did anybody buy anything cool this weekend? I bought a laminator oh, from yeah, my Yeah, let me grab it. Nice. Oh, Eric's leaving. Oh, okay, bye, Eric. Eric just peaced out. Yeah, I didn't. I think I bought a bunch of stuff just to like give away on the site. I didn't buy anything for myself. Mm. I don't think. No. Anyways. All right, apps and games. You guys want to talk apps and games for a minute? Yeah, sure. Um... Oh, I'm not listed first. Whoever wants to talk about VSCO Cam. Oh, VSCO Cam. Oh, so <laughs> the Sco Cam. What are you guys yeah. doing? I well, it should be spelled Visco if that's how it is. I wait. You don't actually say Visco, do you? Yeah, I, never says, I would never say says Visco. Then that's retard. That's no, I can't say that word. That's dumb. It's VSCO. <laughs> yeah, Visco, it's, and Visco. it's capital too. It would need to be VSCO. Really, we're gonna complain about this, and we've got a yes. site about Droid that has Razor. <laughs> Well, that's dumb too, but at least there's a vowel in the middle. <laughs> Max yeah, we, with two X's. We call that dumb all the time. There's no I'm calling this VSCO cam. Sorry, that's just yeah. what I'm calling it. It's VSCO. fine. You can talk about Visco cam that way. That's fine. <laughs> it can't be Visco cam. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Somebody find a video of the like official creator of VSCO cam calling it Visco. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's uh, was, 
it's fairly popular on iOS, like every app that comes to Android these days. And uh, <laughs> it's a nice camera app. It actually works fairly well in the Nexus 5 because uh, the Nexus 5 takes those terrible pictures that you can immediately adjust them with all of the fancy editing tools. I will actually say that the editing tools on it are really nice. It's kind of, uh, it'll take some getting used to. Oh, it's free, by the way. It takes some getting used to because it's all symbols. You just have to know what you're tapping on. Yeah. So uh, it's, but it's, and you can buy, you know, new filters and other presets. They don't actually call them filters, right? They call them, what are they called? Like, they're not presets, or are they called presets? I want to call them, like, photo sets or something. Yeah, they have a, a fancier name than filter for them, but they're essentially filters. Uh, but you can edit all sorts of stuff in there. It's actually a really nice app, although it's not really designed with any sort of Android guidelines. It's basically an iOS port, I think. Uh, well, but it's, it's not, but it doesn't follow iOS guidelines either. Okay, so it's just following its own. It's their own UI, okay. yep. Yeah, because once you take a picture and go into the sort of gallery editor area, it's it like flips automatically to portrait and won't flip to landscape, and it's terrible. Uh, otherwise, it's promising. I'm sure it'll only get better. Uh, yeah, they call them they call them presets. Presets, okay. So you can buy lots of those, and then you we have also more call filters. It Visco. No one calls it Visco except weird Apple people. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 play, I played with the VSDO cam. Oh, no. <laughs> and um, I, I do admire the presets, although the UI was extremely hard and confusing for me to figure out. Yeah, um, it's bonkers. Yeah, being sort of like a, a simple-minded Android user myself, I I was left left yearning for more information as to what the hell these buttons do. There's just like a there's a, a flag that like marks yeah. it. It's, it's just a it's just a flag the picture yeah but it doesn't make any sense at exactly. all. Exactly. No, Why am I flagging sense. pictures? I yeah. don't really understand. Right. But, <laughs> so yeah, Peter was complaining about this on the Verge Mobile show how the how the filters are also labeled like C two. Yeah. It doesn't mean it anything. That doesn't mean anything to me. I get that like B is for like black and white possibly, but yeah. I understood nothing else beyond. But that. what are the numbers for? <laughs> exactly. Or maybe different variants of that. I mean, I I tried to just put it together. I was like, eh, okay, that, that must mean... Because I want them to mean something, so my brain is like, this has to mean something, right? So just assume, assume, assume. And yeah, so um, although the presets are nice, I used one today on my Instagram. You know, it's got like 20 likes, no big deal. But uh, it's good. It's, I, I, like the, <laughs> I like the presets, yes, thank you, Eric. I do enjoy the presets. Because, you know, I'm a, I'm a big filter guy myself. And um, surprisingly... Yeah, there, surprisingly, there wasn't too much like oversaturation in my photos. Uh, I know Ron will appreciate that. I gave, I gave you a double tap for today's photo. Damn, really? I didn't, oh, yeah, I did see you. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks. you did. Thanks, bro. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> every like counts. So <laughs> every like I get, I donate uh, $1 to myself. So oh. thank you. I'm a dumb charitable guy. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> VSEO, I approve. <laughs> Nabisco. Yeah. Uh, that was that was my app. It's like Nabisco. I'm I'm now like YouTubing this, so keep going. Whatever apps you guys have next. All right. Um, any do calendar? Just Cal. Ron? Yeah. No, nah, it's calendar. Short for calendar, right? Who's the yeah. Who's the guy that got it first? Oh, Ron did. Yeah. Okay. okay I, all of these apps are available for all us first. Official Visco. They call it Visco. Boom. Oh, okay. Boom. Who says Visco? Hold on, Visco does. Visco. That's who. <laughs> Why don't they just spell it B I S C O and just have it be Visco? Why make it difficult? I don't no, get it. Maybe, maybe, maybe you should just listen to me. <laughs> you should just listen to me when I say it's pronounced Visco. We know. can't just we can't just listen to you and assume that you're right anymore. Maybe people that create iOS apps <laughs> really subjective <laughs> objective. <laughs> <laughs> So, so okay, we'll move on. So, uh, AnyDo, which is a company that makes a task list called AnyDo, surprisingly, um, you guys will maybe maybe remember back from the uh, back from the uh, annals of the show. We've mentioned it before. Uh, so, it's basically it's a task manager, and what they're doing, they're in the pro process of making a few more apps. Um, so, they they just came out with well, they had they've had Cal for a while on iOS. Uh, just came out on Android. And uh, they're also going to have a mail app, and I forget what the other one is. They're going to have another app too. But they're, so they're slowly rolling out these apps. They're working on them, and um, the goal is to have them all integrated. So, AnyDo is a to-do list app um, on Android and iOS, and Cal is kind of the next generation of that. So it's a calendar app, and it uh, basically is just a normal calendar app, but it looks a lot better than I don't know, say 99.9% .9 of the calendar apps on Android. Mm -hmm. um, 
And I don't know why that is. That's another, like, that's like a side tangent. But, like, there's, I was talking to somebody on Twitter. They were asking me about why I use iOS. And I was talking about apps and how there's just a ton of apps, um, in particular app categories that have been kind of ignored on Android for some reason. Calendar apps is one of them. Um, where there's just kind of a dearth of any any kind of uh, really good-looking apps. You can get apps that kind of mimic what Google already has, um, which I think looks terrible. Um, but there isn't there is anything, like, if you go on iOS, there's tons and tons of calendar apps, to-do list apps, uh, mail apps, and there's uh, note-taking apps. There's just kind of a dearth of that on uh, on. Android, but this is this is what it looks like. I don't know if it's going to look great with my purple razor, but you can see it's kind of lots of white. Um, but the normal view is like this, just a weak view, and then they've got pictures um, underneath it, and they'll change day to day. Um, Why? It's I don't know. App. I like it's it. A, just a nice little little. Just a nice little thing. thing, and you can you can go into the settings. You can pick different um, categories for the pictures that you want to have. That's cool. Um, so it's a little it. theme. Yeah, so you can. Uh, you can decide between that. So the photo themes they have on there, they have art, fashion, food, landscape, animals, design, cars, architecture, and illustration. Illustration, they have uh, Fiona from Adventure Time. Um, yeah. So they, they'll just throw different uh, different backgrounds on there. So it's a, if you're looking for a calendar app on Android that um, maybe integrates with AnyDo, if you use that for your to-do list, um, and that looks a lot prettier than pretty much any other uh, calendar app on Android, then give this a shot. Check it out. Um, there are some frustrating things with it. Um, if you do any color customizations in your camera, um, it's just always red. So if you do any color customizations with that, they won't show up. Also, if you really like seeing the month view like I do, um, it defaults back to the week view after you get, get back into the app after some time. So there are some frustrating things. It's like that on the iOS version as well. Um, it's just not as fully fleshed out. Hopefully we'll start seeing some more innovation there, though, now that um, any, any do is on uh, is on Android and putting their apps out there. Hopefully, we'll see some stuff like Fantastical and Sunrise coming over to uh, to Android. I just want them to make you or give you the option to add color or you know color different things. That's the only thing that really bothers me because it works perfectly with Google Calendar. Like it imports all of your stuff yep. or whatever it does. Uh, but yeah, that was one of the things I couldn't stand about it is because I do color code everything and you can't do that with the app. But all the fancy animations and stuff in it, it looks really nice. Actually, the first beta version was so clunky and terrible. They've really oh, sure. done, yeah, they've done a nice job in just the last wow. month or so. While they mm. ramped up for this launch, but yeah, yeah. nice, nice. When thing. the heck is Mailbox getting on Android? When's that? I don't happen? know if it's ever happening. No. Because I think I think they made that promise before uh, Dropbox bought them. Mm. Oh yeah, I forgot That's that not happened. Fair. Damn. When's Tiny Wings coming to Android? Whatever. Never, just use that. Dragonfly because it's way better. Dude, I'm telling you, Dragonfly is icky. Like that. I like that, it. that is not the same game as Tiny Wings. I like but it a lot better. Than Tiny it doesn't Wings. have the awesome music. It doesn't have the uplifting chirp that the bird does when he's in the air. And yeah, but you, you can go into fire mode after three swoops with Dragonfly. Oh, screw fire mode. It's worth it. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to talk about Zombie Killer Squad, or ZKS, as I like to pronounce it. It's not ZKS. Zix. 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 So the game is actually, I guess you could say it's like produced by these uh, two YouTubers, or Syndicate and C-Nanners, or AKA Adam, is his real name, Adam Montoya. And anyways, um, so in the game, it's kind of like Temple Run, except you can play as either, I think they're, his, the other guy's name is Kyle, and um, I don't even know if Kyle's real. I don't. I haven't seen him on YouTube at all. But either way, there's Syndicate and Scene Nanners are your two main characters. And it's like Temple Run. You play as them, and you just kind of run through a level while swiping, jumping, ducking, collecting coins, and shooting zombies. And you can also ride, like, magical big cats or horses. And you have, like, mounts. And um, they help you collect more coins and ammo for your gun and all that stuff. It's actually a really fun game. It's free to download. I think you have to pay like an extra dollar if you want to play the premium characters like Syndicate or C-Manners. And um, I've been having a real blast with it. Um, I've been playing a lot of games where I have to compete with people. And sometimes you just want to play a game by yourself and not have to worry about what the other person's doing. Like with words with friends, man. Oh, I'm tired of... Just destroying people in there. Anyways. It's still a thing. Oh, it's most definitely a thing, and I take it seriously. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> so zomb Zombie Killer Squad, um, go grab it on Google Play. It's a total blast. Graphics are all old school. Not like old school, but they're not like super nice or anything. It's just nice, and it's, it's just soothing to kill zombies. And yeah, 
My next game's even better. It's called Toilet Time. <laughs> <laughs> toilet Time. <laughs> toilet Time. I, I was just like, I was uh, browsing through the trending apps on Google Play yesterday, and I saw Toilet Time, and I was like, eh, there's no way this would be, like, Droid Life appropriate or whatever. But I was like, eh, screw it. I'm just going to download it and check it out. I downloaded it, and it reminded me a lot of Dumb Ways to Die, and where the game itself has uh, a lot of mini games inside. <laughs> and a lot of the mini games are, like, you know, seemingly inappropriate just because not a lot of people talk about this stuff. I talk about it all the time to anyone who will listen to me. But, uh, like, for example, <laughs> there's this one. <laughs> I can't even do it. <laughs> there's this one where you have to time your, like, courtesy cough perfectly while... while uh, <laughs> <laughs> While the thing is dropping right before it hits and splashes, you gotta uh, go, Ugh! <laughs> and uh, it's, <laughs> it's so funny. And and there's another way you gotta tilt the phone, kind of like in uh, dumb ways, dumb ways to die, where you have to clean the bowl with your stream. And if you don't clean it in time before time runs out, you lose a life. <laughs> it, like the the game. Does it have are, a cute little music video like dumb ways to die? Uh, probably not. Uh, uh, so I didn't watch any trailers or music video. I just wanted to play well, the it's game. In the, it's in the app. Yeah, so, and I I didn't I don't uh, I just play I yeah sorry I just play the game for the game I don't pay attention. To <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, um, and you know there's ads, but uh, they aren't too intrusive. Kind of like I said in the post, um, you can get rid of them for a dollar. But other than that, really fun game. Um, you know I actually got kind of tired of Dumb Ways to Die because I didn't I think there's more puzzles in Toilet Time or mini games in Toilet Time than there are Dumb Ways to Die. I got over. Dumb Ways to Die in, like, 48 hours. I was over that game. I got all the characters in, like, one sitting. And I was like, oh, this is kind of boring. So, because I had been practicing on an iOS device, so I already knew what was coming. So... You were cheating. I was cheating. I'm a cheater. I'm a cheater, bro. So, beyond that, Zombie Killer Squad and Toilet Time, both free on Google Play. Pick them up for your Android device. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right, I think that's it for apps. I don't think we have any other new... There hasn't been a lot of new good apps coming out, really. Toilet time? Zombie killer squad? <laughs> uh, these, are all, these are all, good, these are all good apps. Actually, oh, pain. Badlands? Badland came out, which yeah, is another thing that was out on iOS. I already had two, so I wasn't going to talk about it, but Badlands, I mean, that's a really great game. It is a beautiful game. I just really wanted to talk about Toilet Time more than that game, so <laughs> I'm sorry. If you're looking for a better game than Toilet Time, aesthetically-wise, like, definitely pick up Badlands. That's free, too. And it's an awesome game. It is. So, yeah. I can't, you know, it kind of reminds me of uh, uh, the world of Goo. And just yeah. kind of, like, it, it kind of reminds me of the world of Goo. Just, but the, just the way it language. looks. Yeah. yeah. But the, the gameplay is actually quite pleasing. Although I feel bad, you know, when the little guys die. Um, yeah, I don't you really like... Too. I don't like little creatures dying because of me, and they all seem to die very quickly when I play. That and I don't, I don't like that. Time. Dude, I, I'm sorry. I'm just emotional. Heartfelt. <laughs> yeah. So it's Not a dry eye in the house right now. <laughs> I got nothing else to say now. Ridiculous Fishing came out. There's a lot of games. I could talk about this stuff forever. <laughs> Ridiculous Ooh. Fishing. There was Is that Nightmare on the Play Store yet? Yeah, it's out. Okay. It's actually it Google is. Play. I don't know what the Play Store is. Yeah, but, uh, the Android market. <laughs> yeah, so it's been a good good week and a half, I'd say, for applications. So Ridiculous yeah. Fishing, pick that one up, it's and it's the, like it's a dollar ninety nine. I've got Play Store, got Play Store on my phone. I I just know it as Google Play. I don't. I mean, you know, when I'm writing about it, I might say Play Store. Yeah, it says Play Store. I'm just saying, yeah. like, I'm just saying, dude. I call it it's Google Play. <laughs> Being politically correct. Yeah. Just Anyways. like the Second Amendment. Ah, uh, closer. Uh, <laughs> boy. <laughs> All right, uh, I have nothing else to talk about, unless you guys have something else you want to toss out there. No, I think uh, I've spoken enough. <laughs> I've yeah, argued we have, enough. Uh, we should have show next week and then the following week, and then it's Christmas after that, so... so probably no should show. Have two shows in a row, and then Christmas. Yeah, no, no show and on New Christmas Year's. Day. Oh, and then, yeah, New Year's the following. So, two... Two more shows to close out the year. Can you believe oh, that? Oh, no. Two more shows to close out the year. Then we'll be gone for two weeks. And then CES the following CES. week after that. Oh, boy. So, 
stuff happening. Although expect this month to be a little slow. <laughs> we were kind of talking about this before we hit the air. It's not a lot of phones coming out that we know of or tablets or anything cool. So maybe lots of contests. So you guys might win a lot of free well, stuff. Well, apparently we have a lot of phones to give away. So. We do have some phones to give away. So yeah, if you missed yep. that from the beginning, uh, two developer edition Moto X's, uh, coupon codes for Moto X Moto Makers. Got some other stuff lined up. Uh, yeah. So, Don't you yeah. worry yeah. about yeah. it. Stay tuned for that. Yeah, we gave a G2 away today. Oh, somebody in the chat was asking what I got on uh, um, Cyber Monday. Oh, right. What did you get? A lens. Is What's that lens or a coffee cup? I was going to say it looks coffee like a coffee cup. cup. Oh, it's a coffee cup. That's great. And it, it's made to look like a um, can That's of... That's a stash. But it's, brown, definitely, brown um, it's definitely like the knockoff Chinese brand of Canon. <laughs> Canium, like it. I mean, the font is exactly the same. Like they, they would probably have a very good copyright, you know, Canium. lawsuits going on. There, but that's, that's I hilarious. mean, they tried their hardest. It's pretty cool though. So, and it was only like ten bucks. So, that's yeah, pretty that cool. Was my, dude. That was my purchase from the weekend. Nice, good job. Yeah, it's classic. Yeah. All right, sweet. Well, uh, yeah, let's wrap up. Uh, thanks for joining us. Episode forty-three. Uh, In the books. Yeah, we'll talk next week Android distribution numbers again or something. Yeah. <laughs> this happens just a whole show on that. That's what whole, I got on Twitter. A whole show. Eric, it just says, I think Ron and Tim need their own shows so they can disagree all the time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll make it happen. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> Don't make worry. that happen. All right, that'll be the Eric show. I'll just be all the right. moderator and let you guys talk. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Sweet. All right, thanks again for joining us. We are out of here. Peace. Peace. Later. Later. Thank <laughs> you.